hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is timmy kems at james so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to make this dashiki so let's jump right into it so for our dashiki we are going to be using this really beautiful and vibrant Afri african print um fabric so you can order this from my instagram page timmy kems at james on instagram so now i folded my dashiki and i wanted to get at least 15 inches in for my folding so i have a little bit more than 15 which is fine so what i'm going to do now is to mark the length of my dashiki so i'm working with 30 now at the end of the day i want 32 but i'm going to make a band at the hem here so 30 will be fine for now so i'll mark 30 for my length and just because the dashiki has this uh, the material has these guidelines for me because of the design i'll just go ahead and rule that so i'll mark 15 now the reason i'm marking 15 is because the chest of this person that owns the dashiki it's my it's for my husband so his chest is actually 43 for a regular shirt so i'll be needing one inch again that's a total of four inches for ease because you know the dashiki is not a fitted outfit and then one inch again which is a total of four for sewing so that's why i'm working with 15 inches so i'll mark 15 inches like so so i can just go ahead and just add a little bit maybe 16 just in case of anything at all so i'll mark 16 like so if i need more than that i would i can have a little bit of is to work with so i'll mark sorry i'll mark 16 like so so i'll go ahead and rule it out and cut this out so i went ahead to fold once more so just like this and i'll still need the 16 inches then i'll be laying that front panel that i cut out I'll lay it on it exactly like so. So by the time I lay that, I'm going to be adding 3.5 inches to the length. That's for the shoulder slant because I'm going to be slanting the shoulder. This 3.5 will be on the back side because that's what will overlap the shoulder. Then I'll cut that out. So now here we have our front and our back piece. So I'm going to be moving this side to be equal to the back. So once I get it to be exactly the same, I'm going to go ahead and slant now. So I'll be slanting by, you can work with three or 3.5. So let me slant by 3.5 since I left 3.5 there. So I'll slant from here to this point, the beginning point here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cut that slant out. This is what we have. Now, I'll mark my neckline. But before then, I'll draw it back down to, 
to the hem before marking my neckline. Once I drag it back down, I'm going to fold this over to overlap like around three quarters of an inch. I'll come over with my pressing iron to give it a nice press. So if you have a steam iron, that's when to go ahead and steam it properly. So once I do that, I'll mark the neck. So for the neckline, just like you do your regular kaftan, I'll mark four inches like so. And from here, I'll mark... 2.75 so I'll go ahead and use my French curve to connect my neck now when I'm cutting I'm not going to cut through the entire fabric I'll cut only the front side first like so so i just cut the upper side up then from here i'll just cut out the back so we have our neckline out already right so for this for this armhole here for the shoulder here you see this point that went in like this when i slanted it i'll just go ahead and sort of that's one of the reasons i left that one inch that i left initially so i'll just mark that out and i'll go ahead and cut it out So now it's time to mark our sleeve round. So from here, I'm going to mark the sleeve opening. So I'll be working with 10 inches, including my sewing allowance. Then I'll go in now. On that line, I'll mark his chest measurements, right? So, I'm going to mark a quarter of his chest measurements like so. Then I'll add half inch for sewing allowance. Then I'll do the same thing here on the hem as well. I'm just adding a little bit more now i'll use my curve i'll use my french curve to connect here like so right then i'll go ahead and cut that out So now I'm going to be cutting a facing for the back and the front. 
for the front facing i'm not cutting it all the way to this side but i'll just cut something around here so whatever kind of facing you want to cut out on yours for my back facing is going to be a full facing but for the front it's not going to be all the way to this side so i'll cut my facing and i'll come back to show you so for the back neckline i've gone ahead to cut this um facing and i've added hair stay on it and then i've bent the hem like so and i gave it a nice iron you can hold it more with hemming gum around here if you have so this is what it looks like so i cut i cut it white to be exactly the same thing with the back like this all the way and for the front i did not cut it complete so this would just be on the center piece on the center panel right and it will just be like this so you can see so i look you want to put this in front of it outside let it be facing outside but i don't know let's see how it goes so now let's head over to the machine mind you i've not cut out the waist um the band that i'm going to be adding here so i'll be cutting that out i'll be cutting that extension for the band here and also for the sleeve i might end up adding a band there as well so let's head over to the machine so now on the front side of the shirt you see this crease line of this iron that's the middle point and the crease line on the facing that's what i'm going to be using so i'll match those crease lines like so right you make sure they are nice and aligned so because i'm going to be using an iron zip in front i'm going to be creating a channel for that iron zip so just a little bit close to to that crease line is where you're going to be sewing so i'll just be sewing beside it you want to make sure that the lines are in between each other now you're going to sew that neatly and gently to the length of the you sew it as long as you want your zipper to be so i want mine to be eight inches so i'll sew it up until i find eight inches you just want it to be around the seam is not that big it's a very very slim seam just enough to fit your zipper so i'll just sew back upwards on the other side right once you're done you're going to open that point you cut it open just very close to the seam but if you not cut through the seam right i'll just turn it back now to the right side of the the shirt and i'll go ahead and press it down nicely so i'll iron this nicely and i'll come back and show you what to do so i have this metal teeth zip that's what i'm going to be putting inside here so what i'll do is to raise this up and lay it like this so because i'm going to be piping this front side i'm going to start fixing from this side that does not have um it's going to be like this I'm going to be top stitching this facing on on the shirt. I wanted to bind it with a little bit of white showing on this side, but 
I'm not sure about that. So whenever I, I I feel like doing that, I can always come back to do that. So that's why I'm leaving this allowance here. So whenever I have anything white that I want to tuck in there, I can just tuck in. So I just made a bias piece that I'm going to be using to pipe um, the neck. So if you don't know how to do this, I'll be linking it up somewhere for you where I've done this before. So I'm just going to finish one side of the neck nicely. So I'll be talking this in side of it. All the raw edges will be inside of the bias. And I'll be sewing nicely. So here we go, I'll do the same thing on this side. So here we go, you can see. So now I'm going to bring the back side of the, for the front, I'm done with the front. So let's, let's do the back. So for the back, I'm just going to match the facing on the neckline and I'll go ahead and sew. Now I'm using a quarter of an inch or 0 0.25 centimeter to sew. So now I've turned the neck over and I've given it a nice press. So I'm going to... I'm going to be joining the back and the front side together. So I'll match the right. This is where the facing on the back is facing outside as well. So I'll match the shoulder right side facing right side. So this side is the wrong side. So I'll match it like so on the shoulder line. I'll flip this one to the back. And I'm going to sew the shoulder. So using around half of an inch sewing allowance or less. You can see my seam allowances are nice and properly concealed. There is no seam, raw seam allowance showing. So I'll do the same thing on the other side for the sake of those who didn't understand what I did there.
so when I'm done, I'm going to top stitch. I'll top stitch this shoulder, but before then, I'm going to top stitch the I'm going to top stitch the back facing. Right? So you either top stitch this shoulder first or the back facing first so let me just top stitch the shoulder first top stitching this shoulder is totally optional so you can just do you can leave it like this it's also fine so here we go so now we are going to attach the band on the sleeve and on the hem before we cover this up so i have my band like this so it's just a straight it's just a rectangular piece which i added hasty inside i ran out of that black hasty so i used the white one so i just folded it in half and gave it a nice press so on the on this side which i notched here is the midpoint of the sleeve you remember the back was longer than the front so it overlapped on the front so i'm going to match it midpoint to midpoint like so and i will sew on the sleeve now this is the sleeve side of the band so i'm just going to sew this like so there are just so many ways you can do this you can just um, stitch from the wrong side to the right side and turn it like flip this side up like so if you want the sleeve to be shorter but one of the reasons why i'm adding this band is because i want a long i want it to elongate the sleeve just a little bit so this is what we have I will now go ahead and top stitch but i'm not top stitching now until i overlock this side and that will be much later so i'll do the same thing on the other side and for the front side i have the band prepped you just take this um, these stickers away so the band for the front for the hem side of the dress i also did it just like the band for the sleeve just that is a little bit wider and i interfaced it as well so at this point i'm done so i'm going to go ahead and over i've gone ahead to overlock sorry so i'm really tired that's why i'm talking like that Ooh, this is past 11 i think to 12 in the night i mean so i'm going to be joining starting from the sleeve so i'll sew using um i'll use one inch sewing allowance so from the sleeve i went ahead to sew up till the hem um as you can see and when i was done i just notched the corners of the armhole area so that it creates um is there and i gave it a nice press and that was it as you can see he's so excited to wear his shirt he it came out really nice guys so you can see what it, the back side looks like so that's that facing you can see so he went ahead to pair it with a white pant and he wore it to church so if you want to see how I made the trouser as well, let me know in the comment section and I'll go ahead and do a video for you. So you can see the zipper just made the entire outfit pop. So see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.